In this lesson, I'm just reopening a project because I've already edited the images and I want Smart Albums to reload all of those images from the original, which is the edited new ed edited version. So it takes a few minutes for it to open the software. It takes a few minutes for it to just find all those images and bring up the process. So all you have to do is click on one image or all images, right click, and you'll see reload from original or the command R button. Uh, and that will bring up the edited version. It basically relinks the preview. And so all I've done here is select all for the images that I'm using in the book, which is in the timeline, and reload from original. As you can see, it re-imports that link uh, and it freshens up what you see, what you see in your preview uh, while you're in the Smart Albums. So I really love that feature. Uh, it's very helpful because now what I'm going to do is go through the album and make sure that all my layouts are good, all of my colors look good, that the pages are consistent, make sure I didn't miss any images for the editing, and also make sure that the black and whites are all with my sepia. So like this page, I might want to re rearrange something, uh, like with this one with the gutter being weird, I might just change up how it's, how it's organized real quick. But basically this is just a final run through of the album. Yeah, that looks so much better. Um, you know, just kind of go through the templates very fast and see, you know, how it goes and, you know, you don't want to cut off their arms or their heads or the neck or anything weird like that. So sometimes it just takes a second to find the right template. Um, and there we go. That looks good. So, you know, there's a lot of variations and it's really a personal preference kind of a situation, for what you want to go with, you know, for your layouts. But once they're edited, you can really see how the colors go together, how the images go together uh, and tell the best story. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool. You re rearrange, recrop things, you know, make sure no one's cut off in a weird spot on their face. Yeah, and then that's it, and then just be done. So once you've edited all the images, you just kind of finalize the design, move on to the next page, make sure everything looks good, make sure all the colors look good, make sure all the black and whites have the sepia that I do. Um, here's another one that I might want to rearrange a little, see if I can find a better layout so that there's more impact, more storytelling. So I, I don't go too crazy. And I do warn my clients that sometimes I will uh, adjust things as, you know, upon the final layout. Oh, and there's a black and white I missed. So you can just open up in Photoshop straight from Smart Albums. And I can apply my sepia, which I'm using a Nick filters for it. And I just have a saved sepia filter. So I've already got it, you know, I just brighten it up a little because my sepia kind of makes it darker. And then I've got this um, formula, which is specific to me that just adds a little bit of a brown tone, gets rid of the blue green kind of look that some black and whites have, uh, which I prefer. And it doesn't print quite as sepia in the, al in the al actual album as it looks here, but you get the idea. And once you save that and quit Photoshop, then it'll reload it into the preview automatically, which is nice. The key though is that you have to actually quit Photoshop afterwards. So here's another one that I might want to try a different layout. Uh, I want that bridal party picture to be one whole side of the page because I don't need all that extra stuff all around. So there we go. So I have all the black and whites on one side and then the bridal party on the right, which is nice. So it's pretty simple. Just checking all the different crops. And then I'm just running through. I mean, it's really fast. So I've already approved all the image choices have been approved from the couple. So now it's just a matter of making sure everything looks good together as a unit. You can see those two of those photos are a little lighter than this one. Uh, color correcting one isn't quite right. So I'm going to brighten it up a little, take out a little bit of red. Um, you know, sometimes I'll Photoshop out exit signs, as you can see here, just real quick, I clone it out. I don't spend too much time on that kind of stuff, but sometimes it's nice to just not have that big red distracting look and uh, sometimes I'll just crop it once I'm in the actual um, software, you know, when I'm designing the album anyway. So, you know, just run through basically and that's it. You know, just make sure the whole album looks good consistently, make sure all the image choices are consistent and the colors are consistent.